All right. After about a month delay, we've got our last container for last year is finally here. I'm looking forward to this for a while. We'll get this pulled back and uh, start doing a little crawl over. Um, so more than likely, like we got stuff here real close to the end of the, the, the tail. So um, I'm actually gonna put this part way down while he's backing in. Sometimes it can be a pain to put down the uh, the gate here. Keep her coming. And stop, 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 stop. Go forward a little bit. So right here in the front, we've got a couple CRTs um, that we were transporting for someone. We've got some rolls of bubble wrap. Actually, you know what? No. Here. Um, here's what we're going to do. This is actually perfect where it is. Let's just unload. Well, let's see if we can just unload these CRTs first if you guys want to. No, I think it's good. We just need to get this stuff at the end out first. Oh, yeah. Go for it. But, uh, yeah, we got some rolls of bubble wrap here. This is some good old Japanese, Japanese bubble wrap for uh, for packing PCBs. I actually picked these up specifically for someone, uh, one of my friends, to uh, pack PCBs. But I got two rolls or two packs myself as well. It's good to um, good to use for this stuff, good to use for packing. Um, and obviously not exactly easy to just ship on over. So we got those. And uh, when someone's ready, come on over and see if we can get these um, CRTs here off the back end. Here we've got, um, I didn't get very many bed. No, no, I actually, I think I got eight benches this run. Uh, the next container was too full to, to fit much more, but let's start moving on back. So yeah, probably a couple of you are going to have to come on over and find a way. These are CRTs, so just be careful with them. That is also, yeah, be careful. Like, I don't know if you have to keep them upright, but yeah, be, be gentle with those. I'm going to, we got, oh yeah, there's some extra my, my, yeah, and then once that's done, you should be able to get the uh, the gate down. Careful with that, that is heavy. So maybe if, if uh, two of you want to get that. Okay, yeah, we got some extra my, my floors because they're pretty, they're pretty easy for us to come by. Um, and I'm going to make our way back. First off, we, we're actually going to be doing a video on this. This is a DDR Supernova 2. It's still Supernova 2, which is interesting in itself. Uh, but we're going to be doing a look over on this cab because I want to kind of show what a what a Japanese imported cab looks like in comparison to something that's been in a US arcade for a while. So it looks like here this is... Um, this might be the restoration 2DX that we got. I can't really see the door down there if this is the right one, but um, this was a junk cab that we're going to be restoring. There's, you can see there's some parts and other stuff on there. We've got a couple Pacelli dispensers. Um, got the drums for Future Tom Tom there, along with the top. And I'm going to crawl on up on top of this and make my way back um there's a there's a foot thing down there yep there you go okay let's make our way back I'm gonna drop this on top of DDR and crawl over this here it looks like this is the top of future Tom Tom. I'm gonna get my ass on top of this. Ugh. Okay, and looking back, we've got two more 2DXs here. These are probably the nicer ones, it looks like. There's there's two pretty nice uh, 2DXs on this order. We've got, is this... Oh, this is, this is Pokasuka Ghost, which is um, Manic Panic Ghosts, for those of you 
in the US who have who may have seen it there is a US version of it um, we're gonna have to replace the projector in it because it looked pretty bad but I'm looking forward to working on this and checking it out it's a really really neat game it's the one that has the um, that you use the hammer on the screen um, we'll do a video on that as well it's going a little farther back now here we've got this is the beat stream I believe that they found for us it's the first beat stream I think I've seen in maybe two three years it's been a, a long time since we've been able to get them so really excited about that I got a couple U beats one sound Voltex over here these are is this my mic? Oh, yeah, this is my mic. I guess they actually separated it into two pieces. Um, that's the first time I've seen them shipped that way. But that's fine. It actually will save a lot of trouble for some people getting it into their houses when we uh, when we deliver these. So but that's interesting that they separated them because it's not something we've seen before. Let's go a little bit farther back. Okay, let's see where should I step safely. And coming in on UV here, this is a noir. Oh, these are the Tekken 7 noirs. These are these are supposed to be nicer looking noir or uh, yeah, noirs. Um, back here we've got some my some GFDM or Gitadora XGs, the non DX version. Um, those are going to be a friend of mine. <laughs> okay, next step. Okay, we're up to my my. I'm gonna. Move the light up. Let's see if it'll stay there. I'm gonna sit on some of these stool boxes here, and uh, we're almost to the back. The back end, I think, is all all stools and stuff. I'm gonna set the phone down for a quick bit. Sorry, here. Gotta position myself on around. Okay. And I'm on top of Gitadora. Let's come around. And next we've got Sailor Zombie AKB48. And uh, I'm looking forward to one of the things. Uh, I'm probably not going to do a video on this right away since it needs to be shipped out pretty quickly. But um, we're going to be, I'm at some point, going to try and run a couple other games in it. Uh, since the hardware is shared with a, a number of other light gun games, but there's the header for it and um, I'll probably take some more pictures and post them. This is a big cab. It gets a really big ass cab and it's it, if we can get down here Yeah, it looks like the inside is just full of boxes of stuff um, And I've got another one coming on a future container So I'm gonna try and buy a bunch of small stuff to pack into it to make the space worthwhile otherwise you know, it takes up a huge amount of space and huge cost in, in shipping. So, ah, let's come around here. Oh, that is whatever this... Oh, this is Winning Eleven. This is definitely not something to stand on right there. The header for that, that's soft. So, anyway, we've got four Winning Elevens. Um, and I actually have someone that's quite interested in picking these up, so I'll be... I may or may not get to a video on these, but... Um, my, I want to keep at least two because they're kind of a dead game now, and you know me in dead games. On the back here, it looks like we've got boxes of all the benches. I think the rest of the benches in the back. We've got uh, two more boxes of stools here, and that's it for this container. Mostly, I think like a lot of not too small stuff this time around, like the cabinet count itself isn't very high. Let me grab this light and turn it around. And we can kind of look out. There's uh, there's all that. So anyway, that's it for this container, and um, we'll be doing, I think, fewer videos on this stuff just in general because uh, we've got a, a crazy busy schedule coming up. But um, wanted to at least do my crawl and show what we've got this time. So hope you enjoyed it. Um, we're gonna be getting. Anywhere from like six to ten more containers in the next two three months So uh, you can look forward to that. We'll be doing a lot more of these in the future um, Signing out for now. We'll see you next time